Hello, I am Sadhan. I would like to show you how to find out the gravitational acceleration uh, using two detection point. If one object, preferably very solid object, and weight is very high, fall from its rest point, and from the first dete detection uh, line and if it travels s distance in t second then s is given as s equal to ut plus half gt square where u is 0 so s equal to half gt square from gt from this equation we can find out g equal to 2s by t square but the problem uh, of measuring this g using this type of experimental system is that we may not get uh, uh, this object may not be at rest on the detection line sometime it may fall from slightly upper position and in that case that its initial velocity may not be zero so there may be some calculation error or experimental error so in that case we want to find out some such an equation such an equation where initial velocity is not uh, a function of g in that case, we may take three or more than three detection points. If we take three detection point, suppose this is the first detection point, then second detection point is at S2 distance and the third one is S3 distance from the S2 detection, uh, from second detection point. Now, if the object from is allowed to fall from any position above the first detection point any position from the first detection point we shall get the equation of g is like this g equal to 2 s3 s2 minus s2 t3 sorry uh, g equal to 2 into s3 t2 minus s2 t3 where s3 t2 and s2 t3 definitely be, um, becomes greater than 0 so if we use three detection point then we can get the g equal to 2 into s3 into s2 minus s2 into s3 divided by t2 t3 into t2 plus t3 and if s3 and s s2 and s3 are equal uh, to s then the equation becomes g equal to 2s into t2 minus t3 divided by t2 t3 into t2 plus t3 where t2 minus t3 must be greater than zero so in this both the equation we can see that g is a function of distance traveled by the object and time t2 and t3 so there is no function related to initial velocity is link uh, is linked with this equation so in this way we can find the g by dropping any object from any position from the first detection line so it will give relatively better accuracy and uh, accuracy of g so in this case we have to remember as it falls in the air so this object weight should be little bit uh, higher means it should be heavier object 
and we have verified this equation by calculating theoretically let this object is on the first detection line and its initial velocity is zero then uh, theoretically we can calculate that this object if this object is let fall then it will take t2 time which is equal to 0.4517539515 seconds this is second to travel 1 meter of distance and another 1 meter it will travel it will take t3 time which is point point one eight seven one two two six one three five you can see that t2 minus t3 is greater than zero and from from this time and s equal to one meter uh, if we calculate we can see that g is equal to eight uh, nine point eight zero zero some some other decimal points are there meter per second square if we see the dimensions you can get, see that this equation is equal to meter by uh, by uh, second square uh, so it matches so this equation is independent of initial velocity Okay, this is uh, I used to when I was a student in Sanjeevas College. I used to do this kind of calculation. I was very much fond of doing this kind of calculation uh, along with Laplace transformation and Fourier transformation, etc. And I acknowledge our group, G group. Thank you, thank you very much.